The world of F1 has never failed to serve up the most colorful characters, though it is seen as one of the more regal and highbrow sports, the world of F1 always has a surprise up its sleeve, or mythical characters lurking in the background, while today's scene is dominated by the likes of Toto Wolff and Christian Horner, and their respective Mercedes and Red Bull teams, this was not always the case, in years gone by certain figures have stood out against the rest, with their larger-than-life personalities and tall tales to boot, motorsport journalist Roger Benoit, via German publication Blick, recounts one such individual who treated the world of F1 as his playground and left many colleagues and rivals alike aghast, Belgian entrepreneur Jean-Pierre Van Rossum found himself in the world of racing and F1 after looking to entertain himself away from being a stock market guru, INA Wildlife, which had movie script anecdotes at every twist and turn. Van Rossum dipped his toes into the world of F1 while on his way to eventually becoming a convicted fraudster and member of parliament. In 1989, he first sponsored and then became the majority owner of the Money Tron Onyx team, which at the time placed 10th of the 21 competing teams in the sport, writing in Blick. Benoit recounts the elusive figure of F1. There was once a guy named Jean-Pierre Van Rossum who was in charge at Onyx. It felt like it came from the underworld. He had one foot in the Belgian parliament and the other in prison. He always came roaring up in his Ferrari and the scantily clad women got out at the back. But that didn't bother anyone at the time. Anyone who could bring a shoebox to the start was allowed to start. There was a similar person whose name I can't remember now, if the English journalists criticized him too much. He would simply have them packed into a car and throw them out of the car somewhere in the middle of nowhere. 